So over here, you can see that I have multiple shapes. And let's say what I want is I want this uh, shape and text to be the exact as same, same as this. Then what you can do is you can use something called paint formatting. So to do that, you say you can select out a shape that you want and then click on the paint format and then click on the shape that you want to change the formatting of. Then once you do that, you can see that the color and style of text is actually applied. You can do the same for this as well. So I'm just going to go around over here, click on paint format. And if I were to click over here, you can see that it copies it out. But let's say you want to apply this very style to all of it. Then what you can do is you can use something called persistent paint format. And to do that, instead of just clicking it once, just double click this. And then what happens is that it keeps on being active, as you can see. And you can simply uh, keep on clicking and it'll actually apply this out. To turn it off, you can just uh, turn it off right here. So let me just go around and change the uh, color right here. And let's just uh, also change around, let's say, for example, uh, the border color over this one. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click to enable persistent paint format. And if I were to click here, you can see that I can just go around and change out the formatting of all of the shape and text just like this. And that is how you can use paint formatting and persistent paint formatting inside of Google Drawings. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.